Guys, in South Louisiana this morning, it is a dreary day. It absolutely, absolutely is fitting weather for Halloween. Let's talk about negotiating negotiations, all the drama that could be part of a real estate transactions, transaction and why I absolutely thrive on it. Number one thing to remember is this, when you're thinking about buying or selling real estate, if you do not like confrontation, if you do not like negotiating, if you do not like being told no, if you don't like the idea of having to handle paperwork, then I would say your best bet is to hire yourself a real estate agent who you know, who you like, who you trust, and who closes deals regularly. There's a huge difference between looking busy and actually being busy. There's a big difference, right? So, what I would say when you are looking to hire a real estate agent, number one question to ask is, if you don't sell my house, do I owe you a penny? If you hire me to sell your house, you will owe me absolutely not one single penny if I do not sell your house or your land or whatever it is. If you hire me to sell your house or your land, you do not owe me a single penny until closing day, then my commission comes off of the proceeds of the sale. It is my view, and listen, every single real estate agent is self-contracted. We all have different views on things. My view is this, you have hired me to do a job and that job is to get your house sold or to get your land sold, whatever the case may be. And if I fail to do so, you shouldn't have to pay me a penny. Kind of like if you went to the dentist and you needed him to pull your tooth and for some reason he couldn't pull it, should you owe him any money, right? Same thing. For any service that you hire somebody to do, if they cannot perform the service, then you should not owe them a single penny. Now let's talk about negotiations. Some real estate agents do not like the idea of drama, of negotiating, of the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Listen, when you're thinking about hiring a real estate agent, number one, you need to ask them, do I owe you a penny if you don't sell my house or land? And if they say, yes, you owe a penny, I would say, run. Number two question, do you love negotiating? Simple as that, and see what they say. If they have to think about it, if they say absolutely not, I don't like the drama, run. Yeah, listen, all a real estate transaction is, from the very beginning to the very end, is a negotiating, is negotiating. Negotiating for whatever client I represent. So if I represent the seller, my job is to negotiate for the highest amount of price in the shortest amount of time possible, right? And if my job is representing the buyer, then my job is to get them the best amount, the best price, the best terms, the best everything. It's not always about price, it's about other things too, right? But I absolutely love negotiating for whatever the client is. If I'm the buyer, the buyer representative or the seller representative, whatever the case may be. Drama, listen. I very, not very often, thank God, but every once in a while, a real estate agent on the other side of the transaction is rude, is unprofessional, is condescending. I absolutely, listen, I am the furthest thing from perfect. I grant you, I'm the furthest thing from perfect. But our motto at Real is be kind, work hard, everything else will follow. So being kind, to people who are not kind or who are rude or condescending, it's not always easy. It is not always easy. But every single day when I am working with other sides of the transaction, my number one goal is to come across as 
professional, firm, kind, and confident. And you can be all those things without being rude, unprofessional, or condescending. Some people still need a little bit of practice because listen, you can get your point across in a kind, direct, confident way without ever being rude or condescending. And remember this, especially when you're in small communities, but listen, just about everywhere, the people that you work with on a regular basis are going to come into your circle over and over and over again. As real estate agents, we work with the same appraisers, we work with the same lenders, we work with the same banks, we work with the same title companies. And listen, it takes one time for a person to realize who you are. I've always believed, show a person who you are and believe the first time they show you who they are, that's who they are. That is exactly who they are. So if you've proven over and over and over again that you're kind, that you're compassionate, that you're driven, that you are confident, people are gonna remember that. But if you're rude and you're arrogant and you're condescending and you're in it for yourself, people are gonna figure that out real quick too. Just remember that. So when it comes to who you hire as a real estate agent, not only do you want someone that's great at negotiating, that you're not gonna have to pay a penny to unless they sell your house or your land, but you want someone who people in the community respect, trust, like, who they, who gives back to the community on a regular basis. Listen, all those things are hugely important. So when you are thinking about hiring a real estate agent, think about it carefully and ask all those hard questions. And when you're meeting with the real estate agent, if you're asking them hard questions and you feel like they're put off or they're aggravated, listen, run, run. Real estate agents are a dime a dozen. Listen, every time I turn around, someone new is becoming a real estate agent. Every day, there's a new real estate agent, which means that's a good thing for you if you're a buyer or a seller, because you have so many people that you have the opportunity to choose to work with. And it's hugely important. So you want someone, if you're a seller, that's not gonna charge you a single penny unless they sell your house or your land. As a buyer, you gotta ask different questions. If you're a buyer, and you're looking for a real estate agent, remember any licensed real estate agent can show you any house, anywhere that they're licensed to show you in. So example, I'm licensed in the whole state of Louisiana, which means I can list houses anywhere in Louisiana and I can help you buy anywhere in Louisiana. A question for you to ask when you're looking for a real estate agent to help you start house hunting is, do you like negotiating? Am I gonna have to pay you a single penny if you don't help me buy a house? Listen, if I, as a buyer, don't have any money to pay you, are you going to make sure that the seller pays your commission, right? Those are all great questions that you need to ask whether you are the buyer or the seller. Ask all those hard questions. And listen, if anyone ever makes you feel like it's a stupid question or you're asking too many questions, Find yourself a real estate agent who is going to be patient with you and who is going to answer all the questions that you have. In the real estate world, it can be so complicated. For me, it's not complicated because I do it every day, right? So if you're a new buyer, you're a new seller, and you have no idea where to get started, ask all those hard questions and don't let anyone ever make you feel like you're stupid. All right, because there's no such thing as a stupid question. The only way you're gonna learn is by asking. Just ask. Um, Y'all have a great day. Have a happy Halloween. Be safe if you're on the road. I'm in South Louisiana and y'all, it has been like the Sahara Desert for the last few weeks. It, we need the rain so, so bad. So we were able to trick or treat yesterday. Trick or treat was yesterday, which is a good thing. Um, Y'all enjoy your day, enjoy your week, and if there's anything I can ever do to help you with real estate related, I'd love to have a conversation with you. You can message me, you can call me, um, you can check out my website, dollarcansale.com. And listen, just remember this, any licensed real estate agent can help you buy or sell. Find someone that you feel comfortable with, that you know is busy by selling and buying lots of things, because listen, it's just like riding a bike. The more you practice, the better you're going to be at it. 
So the more that real estate agent has bought things and helped you sell things, helped other people buy and sell, the better naturally they're going to be at negotiating. And negotiating is 99% of getting something from contract to close. It's 99% of it. There's always an issue to resolve. Always. Y'all have a great day. Take care.